Right here in front of me is practically every single Mr. Beast Feastables product, and today we're gonna be taste testing and trying everything you see here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the RevNet channel. My name is Reverse Josh, and uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna be taste testing every single Feastables product here. We've got all seven chocolate bars, we've got both bags of cookies, we've got the Carl gummies here, as well as a couple mini bars just to compare to the regular size bars. The only things that I don't have are all of the mini bars. I don't know exactly what all of the flavors are that come in the mini bars. It's not all of them, but I have just a couple here, as well as the limited edition corpse bar. I'll put that on the screen right here for you guys. If anyone can get me one of those, please reach out to me, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, or whatever. I would love to taste test that one since I'm obviously trying everything else here. I wanna give a quick shout out to Feastables and Mr. Beast for actually sending me some of this stuff for free. They sent me uh, the $50 sampler pack um, it comes with two of every single one of the bars you see here and a bag of the original chocolate chip cookies. Um, it did not include the peanut butter ones or the Carl gummies or these mini bars here. I had to purchase those myself, but that's totally fine. I really, really appreciate it. This video is not sponsored, by the way. They just sent me this stuff for free. Um, if you guys want to check out the full video of me unboxing everything, uh, it'll be on the Reverse Josh vlog channel. You guys can check that out, youtube.com slash reverse josh. So with all of that out of the way, let's get right into this Feastables taste test. I am super excited to actually try everything here, and I don't even know where to start. I think we'll probably start over here with the chocolate bar since those are like the main thing here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first chocolate bar that we're gonna be trying here is of course the original chocolate bar. This is a dark chocolate bar. There's only four ingredients in here, which let's take a look and see what those are. Uh, cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower lecithin. I don't know what lecithin is, but you know, it must be healthy considering there's only four ingredients in this bar. Two servings is one chocolate bar here. There's 170 calories per serving, so that's 340 per chocolate bar. 11 grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, two grams of protein. So all in all, a healthier alternative, it seems like, to a regular chocolate bar. Obviously, you don't wanna be eating this to like lose a bunch of weight and stuff, but it definitely is an alternative. So let's go ahead and break into this thing right now. I'm actually very excited to try this. All right, let's see. I'm gonna open the whole thing to give you guys an idea of what the bars look like, because um, I actually don't totally know. Look at that. All right, it was upside down, it looks like, but that is what the bar looks like. It looks like you got the share portion up at the top, as well as it says like devour on the bottom there. I'm only gonna be eating the share portion of the bar, which looks like it just snaps right off right here. Yeah, look at that. So we got this little share portion. I'm gonna put this back down, because I do not wanna eat uh, seven chocolate bars and all this candy and stuff because I'm gonna get really sick. Let's try it. Original chocolate bar. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, solid chocolate bar, generic. Um, dark chocolate, not super dark chocolatey. I don't love dark chocolate, but this isn't super dark chocolate. It seems to be like it's a little sweeter than most dark chocolate, but it definitely is not as sweet as milk chocolate. You know, that's a pretty solid bar. I actually do like this a lot more than Hershey's. Um, Hershey's bars are a little too sweet for me and they have like a weird taste and they're a little like gooey or whatever almost. So I definitely like this more than that. So for this bar, I'm probably gonna give it like a six and a half out of 10. Up next is one I'm very excited to try is the chocolate sea salt bar. Um, chocolate and salt, I think, really go well together. I do hope at some point they do like a chocolate sea salt caramel bar. That would be like, let's see, is this one any different? Yeah, five ingredients in this one. Uh, let's see, cane sugar, chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, sea salt, and sunflower. So the only addition to this is the sea salt. Um, the calories are the same. Um, the carbs go down by one gram, it looks like but it seems like that's the only difference in the sea salt bar. So let's crack this one open. All right, and same thing here. It looks exactly the same. So we're just gonna bite into this share portion here. Look at that, that was a good snap. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I like this one a lot more. The salt goes really well with the, uh, the dark chocolatiness. I'd probably give this one an eight out of 10, honestly. All right, next up we have the quinoa crunch bar, also five ingredients. Um, which I assume would be the quinoa. And looks like all the nutrition facts are pretty much the same as the original chocolate bar. So we're just gonna dive right into this one. This is another one I'm excited to try. I love Crunch Bar. The Nestle Crunch is one of my favorite candy bars for sure. So I'm excited to try this one. 
Obviously this one does actually look a little different. Um, you can see all the quinoa crunch pieces in there. Um, and the front looks the same. Again, they, they all look the same, I think. So again, we're just gonna break off this. Good snap there as well. I'm getting chocolate all over the table, but that's okay. All right, quinoa crunch. This one's all right. Um, it's not as crunchy as I would have liked as like a typical Nestle crunches. It's a little softer. I don't hate it though. I do actually like it a pretty good amount. Definitely not as good as the chocolate sea salt bar. So I'll probably give this one a seven out of 10. All right, the last original chocolate bar is the almond chocolate one. This one is also five ingredients, which is obviously the only thing to add it is the roasted almond chunks. All right, look at that. So again, bar looks the same on the front, but you can see all of the almond pieces in the back. There's actually quite a bit of almond in there, um, which is pretty nice because you know it's an almond bar, so it's got to taste like it, right? Let's break this off. Ooh, that was a good, probably the best break so far on the almond bar. I gotta say, I don't love this one. I don't taste a ton of the almond. I definitely do taste it in there, not a ton. I'm glad it's not like overbearing with the almond in it. I'll probably give this one like a six out of 10. Next up are the three milk chocolate bars. We've got the milk chocolate crunch, D's nuts, and the original milk chocolate. So we're gonna start with the original milk chocolate here. Five ingredients in this one, which will be uh, the cane sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur, milk, and organic vanilla powder. So there's actually vanilla powder in this one. Um, as opposed to the, what is it? Sunflower lecithin as on the original chocolate bar. Oh, I messed up the bag, the package on this one, unfortunately. All right, let's see. All right, looks the same. It's a little lighter in color as compared to the, um, let me grab it here, the original chocolate. So you can definitely tell this is milk chocolate and this is the dark chocolate bar. Still a pretty solid snap there on the break. Let's give it a try. I gotta say, I don't know which one I like more between this one and the dark chocolate one. This one's very good. It is very sweet, obviously, because it's the milk chocolate bar. It's a little sweeter. Got the vanilla taste in there as well. I'd probably give this one like a six and a half, seven out of 10. I think I like it just a little bit more than the original, but they're probably about on the same level for me. Next up, we have the one I am most anticipated to try, the milk chocolate crunch. As I mentioned, I'm a big Nestle Crunch fan. I like Bunch of Crunch a lot, so I'm excited for this one. This is probably my favorite packaging. I like the colors a lot on this one. The blue and the um, orangish red color are really nice. I also really like the uh, chocolate sea salt packaging. I thought that one looked pretty cool as well. I didn't mention that before. Preface, this one is broken, so you won't get to see the full bar in action, unfortunately. Okay, this one is filled with crunch pieces. Look at that, that is crazy. Obviously it is rice and not quinoa, so I guess the rice is a little smaller. That's the bottom of the bar though. Let's get the share bite here. So there's the other half of it. So let's give the milk chocolate crunch a try. Mm. Okay, yep, yeah. This one's my favorite for sure. The rice is a lot better than the quinoa. There's a lot more of the crunch factor, um, just like a Nestle crunch. I think Nestle crunch uses puffed rice as well. This one's probably my favorite. This is probably like eight and a half, nine out of 10. And last but not least, we have the D's Nuts bar. I wanna preface this by saying that I don't like peanut butter. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that in the comments. I do not like peanut butter very much. So I do like the packaging a lot on this one. I like the yellow and the orange there. This one has seven ingredients actually. This is, this is the record for the most ingredients in a bar. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, peanuts, salt, and organic vanilla powder. Okay, so there's a little bit of salt in here, I guess, for the peanut buttery taste. And this one actually has the most calories out of any bar. This is 180 calories per serving, so 360 for the whole bar. Let's crack into this one. Again, I may not like this one. All right, so it looks like, just like all the other um, bars here, milk chocolatey color. Um, ooh, that was a good break. Ooh, look at that, you can actually see I don't know if you can see this very well, but you can see the peanut butter in there a little bit. It's not like the, there's just like peanut butter in the bar. It looks like it's like cooked this or made the same way as the chocolate is. So let's give it a try. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. If you guys are a fan of peanut butter, you guys are probably really gonna like this. For me, this is like a five out of 10. The chocolate's still very good. It's not as peanut butter heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's definitely still there. 
and there's a lot of it in there. It's not as like aggressive as I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was just gonna taste like straight peanut butter. Yeah, you guys can flame me in the comments all you want for this peanut butter take, but yeah, I just don't like it. Um, so yeah, like I said, probably five out of 10. All right, let's move on to the cookies now. We've got the original chocolate chip cookies as well as the peanut butter cookies. Um, I'm, I may not like these. Again, don't love peanut butter, but let's start with uh, the regular here. Wow, this is really hard to open. That was a tough tear. Um, really quality packaging. Oh, I didn't even read the nutrition facts. There's about six servings per container. Uh, the serving size is two cookies. So there's about 12 cookies in here. 140 calories per serving. So there's 70 calories per cookie. So I can't imagine they're very big. A lot of ingredients here. I'm not gonna read because there's too many. Let's dive right into this. Ooh, look at that. Okay, this is not what I was expecting them to look like. They don't look like they do on the bag. Um, that's what they look like. I can't, I don't know if it's like focusing or not, but yeah, that's the cookie. Um, let's give it a try. Oh, it's hard. This actually might be my favorite thing we've eaten so far. They're a little salty, which I always like with a chocolate chip cookie. I don't like when they're overbearingly sweet, and this definitely isn't. I'm a big fan of these. I will definitely be buying more of these. I'd probably give these like a nine out of 10. Good job, Mr. Beast, on these cookies. All right, let's try the peanut butter ones. Um, these ones actually have 10 less calories per serving due to the peanut butter. Dive into this. Again, a little tough to tear open there. Um, let's see here. Okay, these ones are a bit lighter in color than the, uh, the regular one. Um, obviously because of the peanut butter, I'm sure. So let's dive right in. Okay, I don't like these very much. I really don't like peanut butter cookies. Um, the whole cookie is like peanut butter, which same for the D's Nuts bar. If you like peanut butter, you're gonna like these. Um, I don't like peanut butter or a lot of tree nut stuff. So this is a no-go for me. I actually think I like the D's Nuts bar better than I like these. These are probably like a four out of 10 for me. Um, I'm not even gonna finish this. I'm gonna put this off to the side and not eat it. I didn't get a lot of chocolate in this one as opposed to this one, but these are actually really good. These are the highlight of the day so far. Um, yeah, that's that's the cookies. Last but not least, we have the brand new uh, Carl gummies. These are just like fruit snack gummies. Um, we got sour blue raspberry as well as sour green apple. Nutrition facts for these, uh, four servings per container. Serving size is five pieces. So there's about 20 candies in here, 45 calories per serving. So what is that? There's five pieces. Uh, so it's like nine calories, I guess, per gummy. Let's start with the uh, sour apple here. All right. Oh, these don't seal back up. Oops. All right, look at that. That is the gummy. I don't know if that's gonna ever like pick up on the camera or not. Um, yeah, there's the gummy. Let's give it a try. Oh. You kind of just bite right through it. it. Doesn't really stick to your teeth too much, which is nice. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have another. Yeah, yeah, these are good. I'm down with these. I'd probably give these like a like an eight out of ten. They're not bad. Good job, Carl. On the sour apple ones. All right, let's try the blue raspberry ones now. If you guys like sour gummies, you definitely will like these. I'm just gonna rip the label off try these. Okay, they're the same thing, but blue. They are really gooey in the bag, which is kind of gross. I don't know if you can see that. They're like kind of clumped together in the goo. They might have melted a little bit. I've had these for a little bit trying to, while I was waiting to do this video. But uh, yeah, let's try the blue raspberry one. This one's a bit softer. Um, I don't know if it's because they're kind of melting in here. Um, I actually do think I like these ones more. If you're not a huge fan of sour stuff, this is, it's actually might not be a problem for you. These aren't overbearingly sour. These are actually less sour than like a sour gummy worm or anything like that, um, which is pretty nice. I don't love overbearingly sour stuff like warheads and all that. I do like sour gummy worms, but these are actually really good. Um, I probably give these ones like a nine out of 10. So just to recap, I guess we'll kind of go over uh, my favorite things from each group. Um, for the Carl gummies, we'll just start here. Uh, the blue sour raspberry is my favorite. 
um, of the two flavors. I hope we do get more. I would love like a watermelon one or like a sour cherry one, like a black cherry flavor. That'd be pretty cool. Definitely want to see more of these, Mr. Beast and Feastables and Carl. For the cookies, obviously my favorite is the original chocolate chip cookies. Um, these are probably the best product on the whole lineup here. And as for the chocolate bars, I'm going to show two here, two of my favorites. Uh, number one being the milk chocolate crunch bar and second place being the chocolate sea salt bar. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite Feastables product is, um, which ones you've tried, which ones you haven't, which ones you want to try really, really badly. Thank you again to Feastables for sending me some of the stuff that you see in this video, all the chocolate bars as well as the uh, cookies. Um, obviously, I did, like I said, I had to buy a couple of these things. Um, if you guys want to see, again, the full video of me unboxing the whole sampler pack, um, it'll be over on my vlog channel, youtube.com slash reverse josh. And there'll be a card up here, I believe, on this side um, for that specific video. So go check that out. Um, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Feastables done. Feastables chocolate is completed. We're done with this video. And then I get to do a prime one soon, too.